How many times have you heard a child say they want a puppy for Christmas or an adult or a kitten <laughs> under the tree? Well, while they're cute, is it always a good idea to do a pet for Christmas or the holidays? Well, back today is Lauren Postleone to help shed some light on this. If this special gift is right for you and your family. Lauren, how are you? I'm good, Natalie. How are you? Good. What? Well, and you brought a feisty little one today. I did. This little girl came to us yesterday. She doesn't even have a name yet, but she is available for adoption. She doesn't even want to look at the camera. She's a little too shy. <laughs> um, she is super hyper though. I don't think she's had too much people interaction, but she she enjoys it. She just doesn't uh, doesn't know what to do. She wants to run all over the place. She wants to explore. She got free out in the lobby and decided it was time to go for a run. Oh, so good. Well, notice that Lauren is going to hold her and keep dibs on her where we're going to be talking about pets and the holidays. You know, it's kind of a, a cliche. People, you know, always want to give the child, you know, a pet. What are your thoughts on it? What do people need to keep in mind? People need to keep in mind, it's not a bad idea to get a pet for the holidays, but you just wanna make sure that everybody in the family is prepared. Everybody understands that there's responsibilities that go along with it. There's gonna be the food. If it's a dog, the walking. I mean, some cats walk on leashes, but it's very rare. <laughs> um, just the litter box cleanup. You know, it's gotta be a whole family effort to make sure that the pet gets all the attention that it needs um, and that everybody is comfortable with the pet. So a lot of the times we would rather people come in and meet. If you can bring your whole family in, have the whole family meet it, just so you can see the energy level. You know, if, you're, if your family's not so high energy, you guys are more laid back, you're not gonna want a very high energy cat or a very high energy dog because now you're gonna have to put forth that much energy to make sure they get the exercise and the enrichment that they need. So it might be uh, taken away from the surprise a little bit, having your, your kids meet the possible pet. It's still a good idea to be able to understand the temperaments and everything. Yeah, it's saying. always a better idea. And if you have an idea of obviously what's gonna fit or you think you have a good idea of what's gonna fit in your family and you find a good fit, then you can always do that. As, as the parents and as the adults, you know, you can make that decision to, to see if it's gonna fit your family. Um, but we always try to say, you know, just bring everybody in. That way you can see how the dog or the cat interacts with your children. Maybe your children are younger, maybe they're older. Um, that way everybody's happy with the new four-legged or sometimes three-legged addition to the family. So while it might not be under the Christmas tree, it still could go out maybe and make a holiday excursion Correct. of visiting you. What are your holiday hours? So our holiday hours, we will be open on Christmas Eve, which is Sunday, but we will close at 2 and then we are actually closed Christmas Day and the day after. But on Wednesday, we will be open for our normal hours of operation. I'm curious, what's the inventory like during the holiday? I know summer we see, you know, a lot of pets that need homes. What are you looking at here this holiday? Well, right now our dog population is about 90%, which Aww. is pretty high. Our cats are very low and kittens are a commodity right now. They're, they're pretty hot commodities. So they're, it's not really the time of year for kittens. So they come sporadically like this little girl Aww. right here. Um, and our cats are actually really low right now, but um, we have them come in every day. So Let's go visit, go visit, come see us, come visit. Hi, I see you. <laughs> well, Lauren, thank you so much for thank bringing you. the uh, latest edition. We always appreciate when you come in and introduce us to some pets. So go out and see Lauren and maybe take this little one home. But be